I'm gonna play y'all some unreleased me. What's up, dude? Yo, what's going on? And go. Yo, what's going on, guys? Watch the kids take over right now. I'm making it through too quick, too soon. You snooze, you lose. All right, bro, first day in LA, I'm about to get the vaccine. Reason being, for 14 days, if you have it, you don't have to get the hotel quarantine in Canada. No way I'm paying that money, so. If I get the vaccine right away, Ruby Rose interview, and then SSG Kobe interview. Yo, guys, so just thought I'd narrate this vlog a little. So right after that uh, vaccine, we had a Ruby Rose interview to do in like downtown LA. Ruby Rose was like, I think like an hour late um, and it was because you know she had to do her makeup and her hair which you'll see. Believe it or not you're actually the first female interview that we've had ever. Crazy. And no we don't have anything against women. It's it's yeah the hair really shocked me because I thought she did that for our interview. I was like oh like there's no way we're that important but nah it was for like her photo shoot. But yo no lie she was actually like really really sweet. I don't understand why she gets hate at all because she was like going the extra mile to be nice to us, you know, like if we would ask for a water, she would be like, yo, get them five waters and a juice. Like Ruby Rose, very, very nice person. After that, we just literally like zoomed our way to Calabasas. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Love the shirt. Thank you. Oh, yeah. There's, <laughs> oh, wow. there's, there's so many for you. Like, yeah. Because yeah. I was thinking maybe back here by what was like that little sitting area, but I defer to you all as to what you want. So, right, right. Let me right. get out cool. of your way. What's up, dude? Yo. What's going on? It's bad that I wore your shirt. Thank you, bro. Nice to meet you. In and out with Kobe. Love it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's good to finally meet you. That's a sick jacket. Is that a field trip jacket? Yeah. Yo, what's going on, guys? You're watching Kids Take Over right now. Long time coming for this interview with SSG Kobe. Yep. How's it going, bro? Yo, the coolest part of the interview, though, I don't know if you picked it up, but it was that he said that he wears our KTO shirt every single day. He's been rocking it. He, he wore it in the um, MIA snippet, yeah? Yeah, man. I wear that shirt almost every day. After I wash my clothes, that's the first shirt I'm looking for. Really? Yeah, I'm like, I need a funny shirt. Anyways, the next day in LA, uh, we didn't have an interview planned, so I just hit up my guy Matt Ox, who me and him actually been talking a lot lately. Dude, I gotta get rid of this freaking pimple, man. Yo. What you Nothing much. I'm just chilling at the at the Airbnb. You wanna pull up with the team? Uh, yeah. I just got, I just got one guy, one guy with me. I'm about to see what the gang is on. And then, if not, I got a little stool you can pull up to. I'm gonna I'm give you a day. I'm gonna call you back in like 10, 20. All right, peace, bro. You said the gang. Who's the gang? So it's Lancy? I don't think it's gonna be Lancy. I think it's gonna be like working on dying, who's like his like producer, click or whatever. It would be Is he tight with Ken Carson? I'm not sure. He's tight with SSG Kobe, but SSG Kobe's in Disneyland right now. What? Yeah. Can I bring bubble tea or can you not bring drinks to the studio? Well, I'll tell you, you bring drinks to the I don't know. Some people. Some people don't want, don't want you to spill it on the on the equipment, you know. No, you good. You good. Bring me whatever you need, bro. Does this remind you of like Pakistan? The floors and the shit. The floors, the smell too. The vaccine, dude. Oh. Test it out. Let me test it out. I would literally destroy Matt Ox. I would destroy. Cause he's so tiny. Yeah, I would just post him up, bro. What if he just starts like fouling you every single time? Nah, he's too nice. He seems like too nice of a kid. I don't even know. What if he just comes out the back? <laughs> I don't think he rides in the back, bro. Well, I mean, he could. He's still a kid. I don't know how much you rock pink, but. No, I love pink, actually. This is perfect. Yeah. It's like our first hoodie we ever put out. It's all right. I'm gonna play y'all some unreleased me. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna show y'all what we've been cooking up, what we've been working on in the lab, you feel me? Have you been working with, with Lancelot lately or what? Yeah, that's the homie. He, he just got back out here. He was in New York, but I got like a couple with Lancy. Oh my god, bro. Welcome. Speaking of Lancy. The fuck you at? <laughs> he like literally speaking of Lancy. <laughs> my boy. He pull up, go cook one with Lancy. Today? 
I mean, hey man, I'm not complaining. This is this my dark Okay, okay, I'm about to go on a rampage. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what you can't say. So I got the bins and the bins and I made a way. It's a song called Okay. It's called Rampage. Okay. Or it could be called Okay. It could be called. I think you should call, I think you should call it Okay. They put in my foot with their fangs. I need all my dough and they sing. And I need some more with the chains. They make it my phone to your range. I'm about to impose with the gang. I'm about to propose to the game. When they ask for my age, I tell them I'm timeless. I'm out of space, I'm out of my time. Take them out of the game, they get in the bottle. I got thousands of songs, bro. My next project is about to be the blueprint. So pretty much unorthodox was already a part of the blueprint. Y'all just weren't open-minded enough to see it. You feel me? And now we're moving into the stage of the paradox. Now the paradox is a self-contradiction self-contradictory state nice. or how right yeah, yeah. That's what all right correct. cool now in this state you have multiple personalities and multiple thoughts and multiple perspectives and these perspectives clash in between another it's like a rubik's cube i want you to picture a rubik's cube yeah. 2021 we releasing the blueprint bro i'm with them if if it's one thing you can never cut the hair bro i'm gonna yeah. go if i cut the hair i'm gonna go bald okay like yeah. full bald full bald it's money make the world go round. Money make the world go round. Make the world go round. YouTube, it's your boy DJ Quincy here. Um, the villains this episode number the one. Chat. YouTube video coming soon. I'm gonna be doing a new video where I'm gonna prank my girl. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. We got Maddox. We have Sunny 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> and we have yeah. K Swap, the Thoughts Slayer. Straight out of fucking. So after that day, uh, we literally did nothing for like three days. You're probably shocked because you're like, oh, well, it makes no sense. You guys are like KTO and you get all these interviews, uh, but that's not how it works. Hey, I respect everyone that I've dealt with all over emails and whatnot to set these interviews up. Here's what will happen. Like people will hit us up like a month in advance when I'm in Canada and they'd be like, hey, come to LA. We got this really cool artist that wants to do an interview with you. And trust me, these artists are people I really enjoy listening to and people you really enjoy listening to. I'm talking about like big names, um, really big underground artists. I spend all the money and I come to LA and then what happens is they just kind of get busy, you know, or they like postpone things to like the last day and then they'll just cancel it. And I'll literally just wait in the Airbnb with my phone and my alerts on, on standby, right? I'll tell you guys more about it later, but here is something that I would say really cheered me up. I got a text on my phone from Ken Carson's manager who also manages Playboy Cardi, so it was pretty crazy that she hit me up. But she was like, hey, let's do the Ken Carson interview uh, and we should come to a show. And you already know I said yes to that right away. Yo, Ashton, where are we going? About to go to the Ken Carson show, but we're doing an interview with him, right? They want to do it backstage, okay? You guys, I've said this in so many behind the scenes videos, dude, backstage interviews are the worst. The bass bumping through like the upstairs venue just, I think it's, I think it's gonna be disastrous. So maybe let's fast forward in the vlog and see if, if this turned out good. Uh, how's that, is that the first time you ever felt that? No, no, it's happened before, but it's just like cool. I don't know. All right, let's do this. If y'all are ready for destroy lonely in this motherfucker, I need y'all to say. When I watched his other interviews, I was so scared to do ours because I was like, yo, this guy does not really talk and he's like geeked out like half the time.
Okay. I am. I'm good to so ready, set, and go. You know what's going on, guys? You're watching Kiss take over right now. Vancouver, all the way to LA. That's where we're from, by the way. Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver, Canada. Yeah. Fuck. After doing that interview, which by the way, it'll come out next week, so you'll get to see it. Ken was the man. Like, this guy is so cool, and he was super engaged in the interview itself, giving really good answers and like stories and just things I didn't expect. I think he was like sober, like completely sober. But we did that interview, and then he was like, Yo, you guys should just like come get footage of my show. So I actually sent uh, our new cameraman and editor, TP, to go film the entire thing on stage. Like, I think he was the only person on stage next to Ken. Aside from like his DJ uh, Southside who pulled up and uh, the security. But yo, forget the show. This next part is actually way cooler. I'm not even watching. No, I guess it's just take over. I didn't get a shirt before they sold out. So mm -hmm. any any cool interviews coming out? Uh, we did SSG Kobe. We did uh, I, yeah. yeah. We did Ruby Rose the first day. Oh, okay. Um, this Ken Carson one. Of course, bro. Uh, you, you want to take it? Yo, craziest part of the night, not even the show, not even the interview. Dude, I can't I can't even count how many people came up to me and were like, yo, KT, I watch you. And they're like, yo, like we're so inspired by your interviews. And I think you caught it on camera, but dude, there's like probably like five people who asked for a picture. The picture thing kind of messed me up. It was a good night, bro. It was a good night. This guy came up to me to take a picture. Like five people came up to take a picture. They're all young, right? This this guy came, he was like 45 years old. I kid you not. 45 year old, like random white guy. So. 
Honestly, if it was halal, I probably would get it, but I can't eat pork. But yeah, after that, um, we did do like a couple other interviews. I think we did like Baines, who was Young Thug's engineer um, in Midwest. But man, the rest of the time was just me staying at the Airbnb. Same thing. Got my phone out, waiting on standby for a call to do one of the real sick interviews that I came to LA for. It sucked, man. All of those got canceled. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like, I don't know if, if I, I was bad at, at running a media outlet or if these artists were genuinely busy, right? Like, so yeah, just like, please be prepared to feel this way if you're gonna be in this industry, whether you are an artist um, or you do like media stuff like me. Um, but hey, I will say this, this trip can get better because if you're tuned into our IG, you would know that we are heading to Rolling Loud, Miami. Literally, I think tomorrow, Kanye West is gonna perform his album Donda at Rolling Loud. So even if all goes bad, I feel like I'm gonna have fun there and uh, I'm gonna try to keep my spirits high. Stay tuned on our Instagram and our YouTube to see all the Rolling Loud content. I hope you guys appreciated this little vlog here and I'll see you next video. Yeah.